Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy David Dubs, and we are back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm just gonna say this at all of my videos that are gonna be uploaded fairly soon. I just got done seeing Chloe Bailey, a superstar in the making, and then I just drove four yeah, hours back, back home. So my energy right now is a little deranged, a little unhinged, but that's okay. You know what's more important than driving home for four hours? Kill Bill going number one on the Billboard Hot 100 because SZA is giving us the remix with Doja Cat. Kill Bill remix is here. Y'all know the drill. There's a music video, song first, music video second. I don't think there's a music video as of right now. Speaking of music videos, where is Low? Do people even care about Low anymore the way I care about Low? Because if you watch my Debbie Dubs Hot 100 chart, Low is still hanging on by a thread. Low is number one for weeks and now you know, due to Chloe's album and Melanie Martinez and, you know, Virgo's Grooves, a stable hit. Low is now at number 10, but it's still hanging on. I think I'm the only person that cares about Low. So where's the video? If Low video has one view, that's gonna be me. If Low video has zero views, that's because I am no longer in the living world. I'm looking at this runtime and I'm already side-eyeing. Bombastic side-eyeing. Two minutes and 56 seconds. It could have been extended, but I know this is just a ploy to get number one, which she deserves. She's been hanging at number two for a long period of time. Number one is well overdue. Here is Kill Bill featuring Doja Cat. I wonder if Doja's gonna start it. Yeah. I was thinking yeah in my head, but I didn't say it. I should have said it, okay. I love you. I'm in a funk, so I buy the bouquet of roses and cut them up at your doorstep, your new name. Oh, this this rhythm is hitting already. This rhythm is hitting already. The song just needed to start with Doja. It needed something fresh. I feel like if it had started with, I'm still a fan even though I was sorry, it would still be good. But I'm happy that they knew to start it off with something new and different. The way she rocked this beat. I love you. I'm in a funk, so I buy the bouquet of roses and cut them up at your doorstep. Your new neighborhood is gorgeous. Come on. I paid a lot of money for the fragrances you wore when we were dating, and I sold some lemonade just to afford them. She is riding this beat. I know it's not a really good occasion to be barging in. I couldn't help but watch you kiss her by the kitchen sink. I swung the door open, tippy toed farther in. I wasn't crying, I was staring and forgot to blink. She saw me standing by the TV and she wouldn't stop screaming. So I tried to be discreet and told her, calm your tits. She grabbed the kitchen knife. So I put out the brick and got it all the time. Thank God I did for this. Okay, I'm appreciative of, I have two things that I need to say about Doja Cat. One, I need her to stop underestimating her rap skills. She said that all of her raps on Planet Her were corny and boring. Liar! And that's not true. Because who else is making songs like Need to Know? Like, I need to know who else is making songs like Need to Know. Nobody. It's Doja Cat. Doja Cat is already a trendsetter in that right. So I need her to stop playing on her own name. But then on the flip side, I think it's going to be interesting to see how... She switches it up by taking herself more seriously, taking her rap skills more seriously, because I already hear a difference here. It, she sounds more rappish, if that makes sense. Less singy, more rappish, which I'm okay with the sing rapping. I'm okay with it, because she eats. Like, she created a lane of her own by doing that, to be honest. But, like, you can tell in her voice, like, she just sounds very hip-hop, like, very rap. So I'm excited to see how her album is going to sound. Okay, let's keep going. Because she was seeing bread, and all I saw was you. It happened in the flash. When she charged, get me y'all crisscross. Saw her fall to the floor, then you paused, and then all that That slow switch up. Was it
Okay, period. Okay, period. And period. Ugh. It seems the only thing that was different was Doja's verse, and I think she was an excellent addition to this song. Just her coolness and her tone and the way that she wrote the beat, just, it matched the song, I feel like. Cold, hard, hip-hop verse. I like that. Now we can listen to this rap verse. There's a rap edition, or we can listen to the classic edition. If I could be nitpicky and change one thing about this song, I would change the length. I wish it were longer, and I wish SZA gave us something new, so that way Doja wasn't the only thing that was different about it. I think SZA should have given us a new verse, or a different verse, or maybe they should have did some rap singing together on the outro. Just something else to make it more unique and creative. But this right here is fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Let me know how you feel about the Doja Cat remix of Kill Bill Down in the comments below. Will you listen to this version? Or do you like the original more? I wanna hear everything you gotta say. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing also. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Follow me on my social medias here and link down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.